we're going to install the guest editions into the Ubuntu virtual machine to give us the different features that the guest editions supply. One of them is better screen resolution. Also, you can use copy and paste between the virtual machine and the underlying host operating system. And there's some other useful features as well. To start with, we need to make sure that the VirtualBox Guest Edition CD is already in the virtual CD tray. This is usually done by the installation process, but if it's not, hold your mouse up near the top of the screen to bring up the VirtualBox menu, click on Devices, and click Insert Guest Editions CD Image. This will cause the CD to appear on the desktop. Now we want to go ahead and do the installation. We're going to open up a terminal. To do this, we're going to click on Show Applications and we're going to search for Terminal. And we're going to open the Terminal application. You'll need the Terminal application a lot, so you may want to lock it. We'll click on Add to Favorites. We need to be sudo or root user in order to install the guest editions. We can accomplish this by either typing sudo before each command, or we can change into the root user temporarily. To change the root user, you can do sudo s and then enter your password. Now you'll be root throughout the entire process. Again, optionally, you can just type sudo before every command. We're going to change it to the temp directory. The temp directory is useful because it's deleted after you log out, so you won't have to remember to clean up your files. Once in the temp directory, we're going to copy the contents of the CD into the directory. So we're going to copy from media, our username, and then the VirtualBox Guest Edition CD, which you can see the name here. And the main software that we want is the guest editions for Linux. We use the dot, the special character that means here, the current directory. Now if we list the contents of this directory, we should see the file has been copied. Next we're going to run the dot run file. So we'll do dot slash, name of the file, and hit enter. We'll wait until the guest editions load up. Now we can see, looking through the text that was displayed, that different processes were run, and then the guest editions was started and we'll notice that the shared folder has been created and mounted as well. In the terminal, we can access this shared folder through media and sf underscore vb shared folder. And we'll see the contents of whatever we have in the shared folder. Now to unmount the CD, you can right click, hit eject, and you can remove the CD from the virtual CD tray under devices. So we either click on remove disk from the virtual drive as seen here, or just use the eject trick that we saw a minute ago.